Hi everyone, welcome back to the full OLO Made Easy video series. Today we'll be going through the small lightning bolt cases. So as the name suggests, these shapes look like a small lightning bolt on the top layer like this. In total, there are four different small lightning bolt cases and I'll be going through all four of them in this video. So starting with the first one, this here is a small lightning bolt case where we have two 2x1 two bars on the sides here. So for the cases where you have these 2x1 bars here, you want to always hold the small lightning bolt so that it is always on the left side of the cube. So make sure that it's not on the top or on the right side, make sure that it's always on the left side of the cube. So now that your lightning bolt is on the left side of the cube, you always will have a 2x1 bar facing the right. The important thing to note is where the other 2x1 bar is. So in this case we have our other 2x1 bar at the front. So this is your sort of regular wide soon algorithm. So as the name suggests, your wide soon algorithm is very similar to your traditional soon algorithm. It's just that the first move and the last move are wide R moves instead of regular R moves. So the algorithm will go something like this. So you start off with a wide R move. The rest of the soon is all the same until the very last move where you do a wide R prime move and that solves that OLO case. Next up we have the mirror image of the previous case. So once again with these ones with the 2x1 bars we always want to hold the small lightning bolt so that it's on the left side. So it doesn't matter which case it is as long as you have two of these 2x1 bars always hold the lightning bolt on the left side. So you'll notice that as always, we'll always have a two by one bar on the right, but the important thing to note is where the other two by one bar is. In this case, it is at the back. So the algorithm for this case is actually very similar to the lefty soon done from the back, otherwise known as a back soon. The only difference once again is that the first move and the last move are wide moves and everything else in between is exactly the same. So this algorithm will go something like this. So you start off with a wide R prime. The rest of the soon is still the same. And at the very end, you end off with a wide R move like that. So moving on to the third small lightning bolt case, which will be this one here. So with this small lightning bolt case, you'll notice that there is only gonna be one two by one bar on the sides here. So if there's only one two by one bar, you always want to hold that two by one bar facing you, or in other words, the small lightning bolt should be near the back of the cube. So if you've seen my previous fish shaped OLO video, which will be this shape here, you'd know how to solve this particular case using this algorithm. The reason I bring this algorithm up is because the same algorithm can be used to solve this case if you change the first move and the last move into a wide R move. So similar to how we were able to change the soon algorithm for the previous two cases, we can also do the same for that fish shape algorithm for this case. So the algorithm ends up being something like this. So once again, two by one bar at the front because the two by one bar is kind of on the right side here. It reminds us that it, this is the right handed version of the algorithm. And so it goes something like this. So it starts off with a wide R move, continues on like this. Here we do a sledgehammer on the right corner. And finally, we wanna sort of insert this block here back into its slot like this. And so the final case we'll be talking about in this video would just be this case here. Uh, this is once again a mirror image of the previous case. So as you're looking around the cube, you'll notice that there is only one two by one bar on the sides here. So if there's only one, make sure to hold that at the front or otherwise you can think of it as holding the small lightning bolt near the back of the cube. And because your two by one bar is kind of on the left side of the cube here, it reminds you that this is the left-handed algorithm. And so like the previous one, you can just mirror it to your left hand and the algorithm ends up being something like this. So it starts off with a wide L prime move, continues on to the sledgehammer like this. And then finally just insert this block into the front like this, ends off with a wide L move. 
And as always, if you're not a big fan of using your left hand to do these algorithms, then I'll always show an alternative that can be done with your right hand. So for this case, another pretty good algorithm that is mainly right hand dominant would be this algorithm that I'm about to show. So once again, you wanna hold it in the exact same way. So two by one bar at the front, small lightning bolt near the back. It is the left handed one, but our alternative algorithm does start like this. So it starts off with an M prime. So that's the middle layer going up. You can do that with your middle finger flicking back on the middle layer here. Following that, we have a back soon, which is similar to a previous algorithm that I showed in this video. So it starts off like this. You can focus on taking this F12 pair out, moving it to the back and then inserting it with a U2 like this. And then finally, you can just kind of match up the colors. So this white lines up here like this. Next up, it's just R followed by wide R prime to bring the middle layer down, and that solves that OLO case. All right, everyone, so that's it for all the small lightning bolt cases. Like the video if you learned something new. Please subscribe if you want to see more similar videos. And if you have any questions about anything in this video, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.